buses from all across the country traveling here. They got in today, they're tired. We have a bus of, of native folks all the way from LA and California who are, who've come here to be with us. So that's something beautiful and amazing. Um, tonight, there is an event happening at the National Cathedral. It's it's up near um, Georgetown. It's somewhat far to get away, uh, far from here. It's open to the public. There, I believe there was food being provided for dinner, and that's and our understanding is that we didn't want there were there wasn't going to be food provided here because they were feeding folks up in that space. So I apologize for those that might be expecting food, but we don't have food planned to be here. And so um, you're, if you're not going up there, you have to provide for your own food um, this evening, and I apologize for that. Um, the, so tonight, we're here in a space. We're going to have some singing, some round dancing. We want to celebrate our existence. We want to celebrate our resistance. We want to celebrate our love and commitment, not only for the land, but for each other. We want to celebrate the commitment to unifying our efforts to build a movement of movements that can deconstruct the system that is, predi that is predicated upon many of our people's uh, oppression and ongoing oppression. That's our struggle, that's our fight, and we want to celebrate that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, but that's the, the, the logistics questions. I, I, those are the things I want to throw it out there. So we're not starting from here in the morning. We want everyone to go to the Army Corps of Engineers. Tonight, the, this, this, um, the teepees are set up. We're not, no one is sleeping in these teepees tonight. No one is sleeping on these grounds tonight. We encur strongly encourage our relatives to find the, the people have ranged their lodging elsewhere. Just so I want to be very clear. But we also, people can celebrate here um, through the evening. People can be here in this space and we have share song and share story. Because a lot of us, I know a lot of, I've seen a lot of you relatives all across the country and I've seen a lot of you on the grounds in North Dakota. And I want to say I love each and every one of you for being here and we should share story. We should share, share our love for each other and move ahead and look, at, look what does the next day bring us. So with that stated, I don't think I have any other logistical stuff to say. Um, and... The people that are going to help Aldo with the teepee come over to this section back here. There's teepee poles. If you don't know what you're talking about, it's okay. There's folks that have already prearranged. They're going to help with the teepee um, demonstration stuff for tomorrow, so it's going to be over there. So uh, folks that Aldo's talked to, go meet over there. Um, I'm going to ask my relative, Royal, to come on up. Um, Royal is a tribal council member, elected co tribal council member of the Rosebud Sioux Tribe, Rosebud Sioux Nation, who before Dakota Access, that nation was on the front line fight against Keystone XL, and we defeated it once, and we're going to defeat it again. Are, am I right? So, Royal is, uh, is going to sing us a round dance songs. So we want all of us to get that energy going here in this space. We're going to dance up, so I'm going to pass it over to our brother here, and we'll get going here. Uh huh. Chloe up below. Thank you, Dallas. Again, Rosebud Sea Tribal Council, and I want to thank everybody for coming. Uh, sing one of our traditional Radan songs from back home to get everybody uh, the courage they need.
going. Well, guys, um, it's a beautiful time to be here. It really is. Um, for those of you that wish that you were here, you are here. You're here through our live feeds, remember? That's why we live feed for the people that aren't here, that get to see and experience the things we're going through. So don't ever think you're not here. All you guys are here. It's the uh, first time I've been to DC. And I like this town. I call it a town. <laughs> I like this place. It's uh, full of, I could say, diversity, culture, and um, I feel like Ochetti's here, but I don't feel oppressed, actually, to tell you the truth. I feel like we could be ourselves here and sing what we want to sing and be what we want to be. It's uh, pretty much our freedom. But we voiced our concerns today. Tomorrow, we're gonna talk to some more politicians, congressmen, and we're gonna state our concerns again and tell them the truth. So I'm gonna end this live feed now, preserve my battery, get my things packed and ready, but tomorrow we'll be live feeding the, uh, the march. So I encourage everybody to tune in. Remember now, all you guys are here, just watch our live feeds and share it up.